What's going on YouTube, it's Bear, and today I bring you another tutorial, and this is going to be my enhancements with magic ball looks. If you guys don't know what that is, I will open up a example, and it's really just like putting little like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It just makes the banner look better, I guess. It like enhances everything, and if I can pull up one without and one with, that'd be great. Alright, so we're going to do this. As you can see, like right here, you can see the blue little flares, and like it just like makes everything a little glitched out, but it has like a nice look to it. And then this is just regular, no glitchiness, no flares. But um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do little enhancements that makes your background that much better. So uh, what I have open right now is my regular banner with nothing on it. I made the border black, which is gonna be what you guys wanna do. And you're gonna file, save as, and you're going to save it to your desktop as a PNG. I'll name it tutorial one. Alright, so now that's saving. Sorry for my phone again. I just took that on the floor. Alright, so now that that saves, you're going to go into your After Effects and double click the project. And then you're going to import the PNG. You're going to drag into the composition. And you're going to go to Composition, Composition Settings. Put the first number to 1, and then the other one's a 0. And just click enter you're gonna put the like the quality on full and you're just gonna zoom in a little bit and you're gonna have to download magic bowl looks if you guys don't have magic bowl looks downloaded i'll leave a link in the description on how to download that and with like a full video on it but um once you download that you're just gonna go to it's a red giant color suite and you're just gonna add it and then you're just gonna go to edit and it takes a little while to load but uh is this is going to come up and you guys can have presets um you can save these oh, wow that freezes on me but like if presets and stuff that like this changes it for you but um i don't really use this kind of stuff since i it's always different like depending on my banner so i'm just gonna leave that alone but um you're gonna go scroll to your right and you're gonna go to post and you're gonna go to curves and add a curve and you're just gonna take the first one and bring it down a little bit, and the second one and bring it down a little bit. You're gonna go back to post, and you're gonna grab pop and drag it in, and just pull it to like 20, like 28 to 30. You can go higher, as I did. You're gonna go to uh, camera, and uh, this just has different stuff you can use. You can add more curves and stuff, but I'm not gonna use that. You're gonna go to lens, and you're gonna grab the Vignia, whatever it's called, and it's gonna drag the border out. Next, you're gonna add edge softness, and you have to scroll out for this one, and then you're just gonna click this, and actually click the top one first, and then click the border thing, and just shrink it like that, and then make that uh, little thing bigger, and just drag it out till the edges touch. And then you can always just like make it smaller, but um, I wanna keep it like that. Next, you're gonna go to anamorphic flare and add that right there. And uh, you're gonna go to boost, and this is where you mess with how like, bright the flares are. So I see that's too bright, so I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put it on 1.10, and I'm gonna make the color blue. You can change the color of the flares you'd like. As you can see, you can put red, uh, green, but I'm gonna keep mine my my banner color, which is blue. And then we're gonna go to subject. We're gonna grab another pop. And you're just gonna pull it out to like seven. You're gonna go next to color aberrations, and you're gonna grab the blue and yellow and pull it out so it's about like 420. Grab the green and bring it the other way so it's about 430, and then that one too, it's about 420. Actually, take this and pull it the other way so it's negative. Alright, you're going to click finish, and you see it changes the whole thing for you, and you're going to go to composition, add to render queue, render settings, you can leave the same, this doesn't matter, output module, uh, you don't need to click that, you're going to have to go to format, and you're going to have to go to PNG sequence, click OK, output to, and just put it to your desktop and name it, whatever, and click render, and it just renders really quickly since it's only one frame. And then we're at the open it up again, so we're gonna have to find out what we named it, which is not that. It's this. 
and then it just changes that. We're gonna take the arrow and unlock the layer, and we're gonna drag into our main uh, background. So, and we're just gonna have to drag down to make sure it's lined up. All right, and we put that above my CC because I don't think it needs that. Next, we're gonna duplicate the layer, hide the bottom one as a backup, and then we're gonna get the eraser on the size like 350, and you can just click around everywhere. But um, I'm not gonna do that because I don't think it looks that good. But um, this is how you do the Mag Magic Ball looks enhancements. It's really easy, and as you see, it creates a really nice style. As you see, if you look at this one and then you go to the regular one, it's a big difference. But um, this is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you have any tutorial suggestions, please leave in the comments or add me on Skype and tell me. Got plenty more coming for you guys. I had three uploads actually yesterday, which is pretty insane. But um, I'm probably gonna upload this today's mm, Sunday, so probably Monday morning at like five or six when I'm getting ready for school. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, easy Magic Bullocks enhancement. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. But um, it's been Bear. Peace out, guys.